Hey guys, today we're going to take another look at React Components. Uh, we've got here this application that we built in the previous video, so if you didn't watch that, you should probably go back and watch that first, uh, just so you're up to speed. Uh, but a quick review, we've got this data object or this array of uh, people here and uh, our, in our person app, which is right here, which renders a person list. It ends up passing that data as a property to person list. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it gets that through this property right here, data equals data. So it's pulling that in from the global data object. And then uh, each person uh, in the person list gets mapped to a person object, which displays the last name, comma, first name. And we get what we see over here. Pretty cool, but uh, what we want to do is make it a little more dynamic. I want to be able to add people to this and not rely on this uh, global data object. So uh, first thing we're doing is we're getting rid of that. And then down here, we're going to not pass it in. And uh, what we're going to do is in our person app component, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to start off with get initial state. That's going to be a function. And that is going to return our initial state. So we just return. Now we have an object here, and so we're going to have data in there. So we're going to initialize this with an empty array called data. We're also going to have a key called first for the first name that we want to add. And we're going to have a key called last. And that's going to be an empty string as well. Uh, then down here in our render function, we're going to create a form. And on the submit of that, we're going to create a handler. So that's going to be this dot handle submit. And uh, so let's close that. And then we're going to have a couple input fields for our first and last name. So input type is going to be text. And we're going to set a value here just so that we can clear it out later. Uh, so that's going to be this.state.first. And that's how we access uh, properties that we set in the initial state. So if we are passing it as an attribute, we access it with this.props. Uh, but in this case, we're initializing it with that data. So we say this.state dot whatever it is. Uh, we're also going to add a change here, so an unchange equals, and we're going to say this dot unchange first. So we're going to have a method for that. Uh, so that's for our first name. This will be for our last name. So last there and last here. <clears throat> then also the data that we pass to the person list is no longer coming from this dot props because we're not passing it in as an attribute. Now it's this dot state dot data. Okay, so up here, we need to create these, uh, you know, the handle submit and the unchange first and so forth. So unchange first, it's going to be a function. Oops. And then, uh, so let's build that out really quick. Unchange first. So all we're going to do here <clears throat> is we're going to set that state.first value to whatever's in this input field. So the way we do that is set state. We pass it in our object. We're going to say first. And that's going to be equal to the value in that field. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so, and we're just going to do the same thing for last. So last, and then first is, or I'm sorry, last is going to be equal to the field that's in there. Okay, so now we need our handle submit method. Again, that's going to be a function. This is really where we're going to do all our work. Uh, so what we're going to say, so we've got an event, and we want to prevent the page, prevent default, oh, man, that was messed up typing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to push this new item into our data. So this.state.data.push, and then we just create our object here. So first, it's going to be equal to this.state.first. And last is going to be equal to this dot state dot last. And then finally, all we want to do, <coughs> excuse me, is clear out the values so that we clear out our, our fields. Uh, so this dot set state, and we're just going to say first is now an empty string, and last is now an empty string. Okay, so I'm sure I've got some errors in here, but let's try this out. Reload. And so we've got our fields. Oh, you know what? I never put a button on there. Let's put a button there. And okay, one more time, reload. So Bruce, Wayne, and that, ah, something got screwy there. Uh, so we, we did actually do something, but we didn't push it in there for some reason. So let me look through this for just a second. 
Ah, you know what? So these should all be this dot set state, which I was using in other places, but I, I forgot to use it there. So let's try this one more time. Bruce Wayne, and we got Bruce Wayne, Peter Parker, and we got Peter Parker. Uh, so there you go. That is another look at React components, how to make them a little more interactive and how to make them uh, a little more independent as well. Uh, so obviously we've got, you know, nested components going on here, but we're no longer dependent on, you know, this global variable of data. And, you know, we've got some, some very easy interaction here. So very cool. Uh, again, that's uh, React components. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good one.